Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2019 Mercedes-Benz S560 4Matic Coupe. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Mercedes-Benz S560 4Matic Luxury Coupe, which has a starting MSRP of $125,000, $950 offers effortless power, sublime handling, scads of safety features, and the impression of wealth tastefully applied. Standard feature highlights include adaptive LED headlights, auto dimming and power folding mirrors, a panoramic roof, a power trunk lid, an air ride adaptive suspension, keyless ignition, and soft closed doors. On the inside, you get a virtual instrument panel leather upholstery, 16-way power-adjustable front seats with heating and memory functions, an air fragrancer, and a power rear sunshade. Naturally, Mercedes offers a wealth of options to further solidify the S-Class's luxury status. You'll probably want the premium package, which includes multi-contour front seats with massage functions with instant heating and a surround-view camera system. A heads-up display is also included. If safety is a priority, the driver assistance package bundles a wide assortment of advanced driver safety aids. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Mercedes-Benz S560 4Matic Coupe. I should say luxury coupe. Look at that starting MSRP, $125,950. Before I get into this, you know, I just did the 2019 BMW M. 850i xDrive Coupe. I'll put a link up to that car right now because I think, well, it competes with this S560 formatic Coupe for sure. They definitely cost about the same. Okay, so this big Coupe, this big Coupe makes 463 horsepower. You've seen it. it makes 516 pound-feet of torque. I mean, that's AMG performance numbers from back in the day. Uh, and its acceleration is 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It's quick. It's a big coupe, and it's quick. And it looks like the 2019 Mercedes S560 formatic coupe comes in 11 colors, 11 exterior colors. This color that we're looking at here is black. This color here is called magnetite black metallic. Then we've got this obsidian black right here. So they've got a few shades of black. I'm not really partial to any of them. They've got the iridium silver metallic. Uh, they've got their diamond silver metallic. The selenite gray metallic. Excuse me if I'm butchering that word. You've got the emerald green metallic, which you hardly ever see a green Mercedes driving around anywhere. They seem to only show that color at like auto shows. Here's the anthracite blue metallic. The resolutions don't really show the colors very well. There's lunar blue metallic. Now we're getting somewhere. Probably going to go with this one. The Designio uh, diamond white metallic. And then there's also another Designio. i probably pronouncing that wrong. There's a cashmere white mango. Right? That's going to be like one of those matte colors. So, yeah, you've got a couple of Designio or Designio colors to choose from. Let's check some quick specifications for our 2019 uh, Mercedes S560 uh, formatic coupe. We can see that the wheelbase, the wheelbase is 114.9 inches. The overall length is 198.1 inches. So it's about the length of a Dodge Charger. A Dodge Charger is about that long. Uh, we've got a width of 74.8 inches. Um, that's, yeah, we've got, yeah, well, that's uh, not including the mirrors, right? They show it here, 74.8 inches, and it looks like it's 83 inches, including the mirrors. And then we've got an overall height for our S560 formatic coupe of 55.6 inches, right? This vehicle seats four people. It's got a four-liter V8 uh, twin turbo. We already know it puts out 463 horsepower. It does 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It's got a cargo capacity of 10.4 cubic feet. In the city, it gets 17 miles to the gallon. On the highway, it gets 26 miles to the gallon. And it's got a 9-speed automatic transmission. 
we can check a few other specifications. We're not going to run through all of it. But what I really wanted to see was they showed us the horsepower numbers, 463, and they showed us where this engine makes its peak horsepower, which is between 5,250 uh, RPM and 6,000 RPM. But what I wanted to know was, when does this engine make its peak torque? Well, it makes its peak torque between 2,000 and 4,000 RPM. Pretty good. That's what I wanted to find out. Might as well get some interior dimensions really, really fast. Up front, the headroom is 40 inches. The shoulder room is 57 inches. And uh, let's see, in the back, the headroom is 39.7, so you're not really losing anything. And the shoulder room is the same. So uh, pretty comfortable there. Leg room in the front is 41.7. And, of course, you're losing quite a bit of leg room in the back, 33.4. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a few interior dimensions. Like I said, we're not going to go through all of that, all the specs. I just want to touch on a few highlights that I think are pertinent. Wheels and tires are very much pertinent to me. So they're 19 inch wheels. This vehicle comes standard with. Uh, they're 18 by 18 and they're 19 by eight and a half up front and 19 by nine and a half in the back. So you're running 245 45s up front and you're running Mercedes very standard. 275 40s in the back so they're wide but they're no big deal i mean they're just eh, you know they could be a little bit bigger for as much power as this car puts down but i'm sure it's fine okay let's talk about some innovative key features of our 2019 uh, mercedes-benz s560 formatic luxury coupe it says a breathtaking and brown great breaking coupe wraps peerless luxury innovation and craftsmanship in a seductive pillarless body of 463 horsepower twin turbo v8 sends torque to all four wheels so it's all wheel drive that's what formatic means while four passengers ride in style so they want to tell us about features and they've got several categories they've got performance features they've got body and design features they have safety features there are luxury features and then finally there are multimedia uh features so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and take a look at our performance features and we're going to go through those and move on through all the categories and then move on and take a look at some packages and see what packages are available for this s560 formatic and then after we do that after we take a look at those packages then we'll head over to the uh, configurator and we'll build and price our 2019 mercedes-benz s560 formatic all right so with that said let's take a look at these performance features First up is the engine, right? Obviously, that's where the performance all starts with that 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine. Makes a lot of torque. It's got this nano-slide cylinder walls. I guess that helps with, yeah, low-friction nano-slide cylinder walls. And it's also got high-pressure direct injection and rapid, rapid multi-spark injection. So, real powerful engine. We know Mercedes knows how to build an engine. There's a standard engine eco stop start system right that's pretty cool a fuel saving eco stop start system automatically shuts off the engine at stoplights and other idle situations as soon as the driver lifts off the brake the engine instantly restarts for immediate acceleration response yeah that's a, a real common thing that you're going to see across all kinds of vehicles and all kinds of price points of vehicles these days going forward this eco stop start system then, of course, under our performance category, we've got what? The Formatic All-Wheel Drive. In any season, on any road, Formatic All-Wheel Drive adds to your confidence and control. The Formatic system looks like it integrates with the, the standard electronic stability control. And it looks like it also incorporates their four-wheel electronic traction system, which monitors for the first sign of wheel slip. Finally, there's that uh, 9G uh, Tronic automatic transmission. That's the transmission that comes standard. It's the only one transmission that comes standard with this vehicle. Right? It delivers power. It's lighter, more versatile transmission uh, than apparently the one that it replaced. And it's also fuel efficient. And it's got a dynamic select system. And drivers can vary the shift modes via that system there. Uh, there's also uh, shift paddles to let you control all gear changes. So if there's anything else they want to tell us about the transmission, uh, we may learn that going forward. To see the remainder of those standard performance features, where do we leave off? We left off at the nine, uh, 
the automatic transmission. Then there's that dynamic select. Remember, we wanted to know a little bit more about that. What does it do for us? Looks like there's three modes on this, uh, comfort, eco, and sport, which alter the throttle response, shift points, and steering effort, and even that eco stop start system, because I'm sure if you put it in sport, that eco system probably gets turned off. The standard is the turbochargers that come on the turbo engine. That sounds just silly, doesn't it? That they even have to tell you that. Anyway, they're telling you how awesome it is. BMW was putting these turbos inside the in between the V of the engine. They've been doing that for a minute. But uh, yeah, here's the deal. So these are near zero pressure loss turbo uh, 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 turbos, twin scroll turbos, and I guess they spin up faster by being situated in the valley of the engine. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these, just to save on a little bit of time, but there's an aromatic suspension in this standard, adaptive damping system, that's part of your suspension as well, dynamic sport exhaust with active exhaust flaps, there's a torque vectoring uh, brake, and electro electromechanical power steering. These are all standard performance features, right? These are all standard performance features on our 2019 S560 Matic. Now, Let's go take a look at this body design. So what they basically do, looks like they're doing, is they show us four highlights, and then we can click this view more and see the remainder of the features that, uh, that are under those particular categories. So let's look at these four body design features that they want to tell us about our uh, S560. Well, it's got a breathtaking design, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, apparently, it's drawing on a rich heritage. It's got wide OLED tail lamps. The only time I ever heard OLED was on TV. So sounds pretty high techy to me. Uh, the design is very attractive. Then they're talking about the pure pillarless profile and that that's been a, it's been a signature of Mercedes since the 60s. Right here is a, I guess there really isn't a pillar. This all kind of blends together and there is no B pillar here. Right? Uh, what does it say? The pillarless profile of the S-Class Coupe Presents an uninterrupted span from the windshield to the rakish rear roof line. Gotcha. Right. Let's move on. Those seats look beautiful, don't they? They look beautiful. Oh, check it out. Look at the speaker that's right here so that, you know, beverages and stuff can get spilled right in it. Anyway, a showcase of advanced technology, the cabin's exquisite craftsmanship and design raise modern art and timeless comfort to simultaneous pinnacles. Four individual suite seats are swathed in Napa leather and surrounded by top-stitched upholstery, upholstery on nearly every surface. Exotic handcrafted wood trim and a delectable array of options is accented in satin aluminum. And every surface is rendered in three dimensions to envelop the four occupants in style that's equally appealing from every angle. I had to read that whole thing because it just sounded good because it looks good in this vehicle, but it should for an MSRP that's just under $130,000. Oh, what's this? So if you get the AMG line, you get this AMG body styling, which we're going to get it because I like that. So it gives us the aggressive sculpting. We can choose 19 or 20 inch wheels. We get polished chrome underscores. Uh, yeah, I like that. We're definitely going to do the AMG body kit or the AMG line, I should say it's called, uh, for one of the packages. For our 2019 Mercedes S560 Formatic Coupe. Other standard features, right? We got past the what? AMG body styling. There's all LED exterior lighting. We know about those OLED tail lamps. There's all LED interior lighting. There's advanced instrumentation and controls, 19 inch multi spoke wheels, a panorama roof, three spoke touch uh, control. Uh, steering wheel, multifunction steering wheel. That means you can adjust your, your radio and press the button to do your hands-free. And then there's the Napa Leather Sport steering wheel. Let's find out about that bad boy. Woo! It's gorgeous. Flat bottom steering wheel. There's all your multifunction buttons there. Looks very attractive. Very attractive. What's this advanced instrumentation and controls to? Ah, a pair of 12.3-inch high-resolution screens. That's this screen here and then this screen here. Uses a variety of reconfigurable displays to unify every function of traditional gauges and advanced in-car technologies with exceptional clarity. There it is right there. You get all your information that can be displayed right up there. Huge TV screens, basically. All right, let's move on. Let's talk safety. Let's talk safety. Let's see what the key safety features are. 
for our 2019 S564 Matic, right? The first one, car to X communication. This is interesting stuff right here. The future starts today. With its industry-leading Cartex communication, every new S-Class can automatically alert a central notification system of certain dangers from detected wheel spin to the use of hazard flashers or even windshield wipers. The system can then alert other drivers with this same technology in their cars because Cadillac uses it too. And yeah, pretty interesting, but also pretty creepy at the same time. Then there's the BMW, I'm sorry, BMW, Mercedes-Benz emergency call. That's hilarious. Uh, this is, if an airbag deploys, your car can automatically initiate a call to Mercedes-Benz emergency services, transmitting your GPS-determined location and helpful vehicle information on your behalf. Uh, this is a 24-7 uh, thing. You can also press the SOS button anytime you, and there's an emergency and someone can help you, blah, 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 blah. Very, 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 very cool. That's standard on our S564 Matic Coupe. Okay, what's this active brake assist deal? It says radar-based technology can alert you if you're approaching a vehicle ahead or even some stationary objects at a speed and distance that suggests a collision is likely. Now, this system can also detect... So, this thing can automatically provide an appropriate level of braking to help prevent a collision or reduce its severity. If you fail to respond, it can also initiate braking automatically at a range of driving speeds. And this system can also detect and react to crossing pedestrians at typical city speeds. Wow, it's super smart. This is standard. It's called Active Brake Assist. Sounds pretty good. And that's actually what I like about new cars is this technology is really hot. Okay, now I've, I've said this in other videos. We see this coffee cup here. This is that attention assist. Mercedes has been doing this since, oh, I, I can remember the mid-2000s. Easily the mid 2000s, probably before knowing Mercedes. At any rate, other manufacturers are starting to offer this, and I've, I've mentioned it in other videos. I have over 300 and well, 10 videos. Uh, the first system of its kind, it is because Mercedes innovates. Attention Assist continuously monitors up to seven parameters of driving behavior and can automatically alert the driver with both visual and audible warnings if it detects signs of drowsiness on long trips. With enhanced sensitivity, the system can also detect drivers who begin their trip drowsy. So this thing's really paying attention to you and uh, can offer you some suggestions like pull over, take a break. <laughs> you know, it's up to you whether or not you're going to actually listen to the car, but it's paying attention and it might offer you something useful. Wow, the standard safety features list is so long, I need to scroll. We can't fit it all in. Where do we leave off? Attention assist. There's intelligent lighting system headlamps, intelligent high beam assist, LED daytime running lamps, crosswind assist. Yeah, it probably is what it sounds like. Blind spot assist, lane keeping assist, rear cross traffic alert, pre-safe, pre-safe sound. Let's find out what pre-safe is so we understand what that is. Now, pre-safe can detect insta instability during certain vehicle maneuvers that suggest a collision or rollover is imminent. It can then tighten the front seat belts. Right, it's, it prepares the car for an accident. That's what pre-safe does. And then pre-safe sound throws up different audible things to protect your eardrums, basically. There's active park and assist, rear view camera, there's 10 airbags. Hey, you know what? I did a build and price yesterday of the what? Chevy Spark, a car that cost $20,000. It too had 10 airbags. So guess what, Mercedes? I'm not impressed by 10 airbags. At any rate, front seat belt tensioners, adaptive brake technology, and anti-lock braking system. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Yeah, there, wow, there's a lot more else. There's a lot more else. Where do we leave off? Um, brake, brake assist, electronic stability program, hybrid aluminum high strength steel body structure, advanced tire pressure monitoring system. There's a smart key. Now, what does our smart key do besides look beautiful? The smart key remote control integrates uh, remote door locks and trunk opener, a removable valet key, and a remote panic alarm. All right. Uh, this is also standard keyless go system, right? This is where you can keep it in your pocket, and the doors will open when you put your hands in the handle, da-da-da-da. There's magnetic vision control. Wow, look at that. Feature wiper blades with laser-cut holes that emit a highly precise spray of fluid directly in front of the moving wipers. This system eliminates the brief vision-obscuring spray. Wow, hardcore. That's standard magic vision control. You've got the anti-theft system, and then, of course, rain-sensing windshield wipers. 
All right, we got through the safety features. We got through the body design features. We got through the performance features. Let's talk about the luxury features on our 2019 Mercedes S560 4Matic Coupe. For instance, these standard 16-way power front seats, right? These are very nice. 16-way power adjustment, including cushion length and 4-way power lumbar support. A memory system for each front seat recalls three stored seat positions with the touch of a button. The driver's seat memory also includes the power steering column and side mirror positions. Then this is optional. This is available in the premium package. These are the active multi-contour front seats with massage. Now these front seats each feature adjustable lumbar support, side bolsters, shoulder supports uh, for a custom tailored support. Active side bolsters can be set to automatically increase lateral support in cornering maneuvers or even in the event of a potential accident. Six massage programs can soothe and rejuvenate the low back, including two modes combining massage and heat. Wow, hot stone and, you know, high-end spa stuff. I'm not really into any of that. So while all this sounds really, really cool, I'm not into any of that. You get three years, <clears throat> excuse me, three, this is standard, three years of Mercedes Me Connect services. Now, this gives you remote access to your car via a smartphone app. You can remote start the car. You can lock and unlock the doors. You can monitor the vehicle. Uh, you can track it if it's stolen. And you can find it if it's parked and you're lost and you don't know where it is. You can also enjoy something called Here, which is a local search. And you can send, and it can send you destinations to your command navigation system. Right. So you get three years of this service. Uh... When you buy a brand new vehicle, when you spend 120 some odd thousand dollars or more, you can get this. Here's a continuation of that. This is standard Mercedes Me Connect Assist Services. Um, this is a suite of services at no additional charge where you can schedule dealer services from your smartphone app. You can get an estimate and you can add the appointment to your calendar. Uh, your car can reach out to your dealer with diagnostic information or download new software over the air. So interesting. Mercedes me, kind of cool, kind of cool. Here are some other, uh, the other standard luxury features. What do we got? Remote start via that mobile app. There's 64 color LED ambient lighting that you can put in the vehicle. There's energizing comfort, uh, which is probably about massaging and the seats being multi-contour. There's that air balance fragrance system that keeps the air nice and fragrant. There's the heated and ventilated seats. There's the keyless go, right, where you can keep your key in your pocket, all that. There's soft closed doors. There's electronic trunk closer. There's hands-free access. That must be your phone. Oh, no, that's not your phone. That's your trunk. Let's you open and close the trunk. Hands-free access. Good thing I clicked on that. Dual zone automatic climate control. You got this air balance air purification system. You got illuminated door sills. If you don't know what a door sill is, this is a door sill. You got illuminated door sills. You got the power Rear window sunshade, right? You can lower and raise that. You've got the home link garage door opener. you got a brake hold feature, which is pretty cool. Okay, lastly for features. We've gone through all of them <clears throat> except for multimedia. First thing I see, well, I see heads-up display over here, but let's jump in over here, find out about these 12.3-inch high-resolution central display screens. They are beautiful, right? They have ambient light. They display your entertainment, your entertainment, your navigation, all of that, and it's customizable. So, yeah, and uh, really nice. And then you've got the 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, all right? This is nice. It's customizable. Displays include AMG design instrumentation, large multifunction menu screen, um, animated menus, performance criteria, vehicle information, settings, driver assistance features, uh, a number of instrumentation styles can be selected, some tied to the uh, dynamic driving modes or to the driving modes of the AMG Dynamic Select. So all interesting. So you get all that, two big, huge screens, all standard. Here's the command system. This is uh, Mercedes infotainment. This offers intuitive access to the world of entertainment, navigation, convenience. The central controller falls naturally to hand, teaming an intuitive touchpad, with a rotary knob and one-touch keys, two major functions, your little shortcut keys, right? 
So there it is. The touchpad responds to a variety of finger motions, including swipe, pinch, and even handwriting. Intuitive on-screen menus help make adjustment of the car's abundant features logical and easy. I can't help but say it every time. Every, every time. If you know me and you like this, watch this channel, you know I love heads-up display. Love it, love it, love it. It's optional, and I can tell you we will have it on our 2019 Mercedes S560 Formatic Luxury Coupe. The head-up display projects, projects an 8-inch wide virtual image that appears to float several feet in front of the windshield. The high-resolution readout places useful information in the driver's natural field of vision with minimal eyes off the road. The full color graphical display can show the next navigation instruction, driving speed, cruise control settings, and more. You can even adjust the height, uh, and that's stored in the seat memory. Very cool. While the display adapts automatically to ambient light. I like it. I want it. We're going to have it. All right, and here are our other standard multimedia uh, features. We got this front base system. There's a Burmester surround sound audio system. That's nice. You got the command navigation. We just learned about that. There's the no charge online navigation map updates for three years. You got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got dual USB ports, right? That's pretty cool. You got, and let's see, and the ports even provide charging, right? We got that. Of course they do, don't they? Uh, I don't see, what I don't see is I don't see, oh, yeah, there it is, wireless phone charging. Uh, we've got the HD radio. You've got six months of Sirius XM. You've got a 10 gigabytes of music storage. You've got near-field communication technology. If you're not sure what that is, advanced near-field communication technology makes it even easier to enjoy your compatible phone or other mobile device in your Mercedes-Benz. Pairing setup can be uh, performed by simply being in the, in the area, right? Near-field communication. Pretty cool. All right, um, then there's hands-free Bluetooth interface, and then even an SD card reader. You can store your music on there. I like to do it that way. That seems smart to me. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at the packages. Let's take a look at the packages. There's quite a few. We're going to just run through them real fast, right? Let's take a look at the packages, and I guess we'll take a quick look at the warranty. We'll read it real fast. But we'll take a look at these packages. And then we'll do our building price, okay? So we're almost there. Let's take a look at the AMG line, see what it's all about. AMG line costs $5,900. Gives you AMG body styling, gives you 19-inch wheels, or you get these 20-inch wheels. So here's your body styling. We know what that looks like, right? We already saw that. Here's our 19-inch wheel option. Eh. And our 20. Neither one of those wheels really look that good. So there's your AMG uh, line. And then you got your premium package, $3,500. Active multi-contour front seats with massage, heated front seats, plus surround view system, right? What's plus mean? Heated front seats plus, an added enhancement to the standard heated front seats. This rapid warming feature, there it is, quickly replaces the chill of the cold day or evening with nearly instant heating of the seat. Ooh, I like it. And then a surround view system. What else is there? There is the warmth and comfort package. That's almost $2,000. You get heated rear seats, heated front armrests, heated wood leather steering wheel. Then you have the driver assistance package. It's $2,250. But for this package, they throw all the safety features at you. I like that they're showing you all this stuff up front before we get over to the building price. Before you get to the configurator, they already show you what's up. So I like that. This is one that we want to probably get the driver assist package. I normally don't run through it, but since they make it so easy, look, they got their little Mercedes Star Service thing, uh, two-year, 20,000 miles. Let's read about the first one. Prepaid maintenance. Ah, that's what it is. So this is prepaid maintenance for two years or 20,000 miles. Then you've got it for three years or 30,000 miles. That's 1,500 bucks. And then four years or 40,000 miles looks to be just under $2,000. And then you've got that Mercedes Me Connect services. We know about that, right? That's your three years included, right? Here's... All the breakdown, remote horn and lights, point of interest you can download, vehicle tracker, all that stuff. We learned about it. Then this is also a no-cost option, that Mercedes Me Connect, right? Accident recovery, roadside assistance, over-the-air map updates for your vehicle. And then there's what? There's the Mercedes Me in-car Wi-Fi. You get one month and a one gigabyte trial. After that, it looks like what? It's $20 a month for that. And you get something called TuneIn Radio. And that's included. This uh, gives you live streaming of from 70,000 live 
radio stations. Very, very interesting. And then, yeah, there's that prepay. Here's the warranty and services. We know was our last thing. So we already know about the prepay maintenance. We just looked at it. Uh, Mercedes-Benz warranties. A variety, variety of warranty options are available uh, from your basic 48-month, 50,000-mile new vehicle uh, up to a unlimited mileage CPO. Yeah, when I had Mercedes, I really wanted the CPO, that bad boy. Um, service and repair. Uh, express service, certified collision centers, da-da-da-da-da. All right, we heard all that. We read everything we need to do. Now we're going to go do the part. We're going to go build and price our 2019 Mercedes-Benz S560 formatic coupe. Let's go do that right now. Okay, well, the price has already gone up to $129,900. It's $129,900. Um, colors. We're gonna, I'm going to keep it simple. I like the Designio uh, Diamond White Metallic. It's a $795 option. And for wheels, I already know that I want to get that eight, one of the AMG kits. I see the options down here. Look at these options down here. See all these? Yeah. I know that I want to get that AMG line. That gives us that AMG body styling. That's $5,900. And then that's going to allow us to se select some AMG wheels. It already put the 20s on there, which is fine. I want the 20-inch wheels. I don't think they're super, super hot, but I'd rather have the 20-inch AMG wheels than these standard, oh, boring 19. Well, they won't show us without switching. Or the 19-inch wheels, which are just boring. Um, all right. Do we want the headlamps with... With the Swarovski, I can't pronounce it, it's a tongue twister for me, crystal accents. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? To add that feature, we have to add the night view assist. Well, I was going to do that anyway soon. All right, the carbon fiber look mirrors, yep. The chrome handles, nope. These funky wheels, nope. The valve stem covers, nope, none of that. We're good on this page. Let's move on to the interior. Oh, look at that, they're giving us a... We get to have a whole walk. Oops, I don't want to do that. Let's do that. Walk around. We can have a nice look around, a virtual walk around out on the beach, <laughs> out on the beach background. Oh, and there's the city. Must be New York City. Here's our interior of our 2019 Mercedes S560 Formatic. What color do we want it in? We're sitting at the price of $136,000 now. You know, that burgundy interior, really, just that bingo red, black nap, and then what's this? Oh, that's brown. That bingo red just really just popped out at me. And then with the, uh, the, the Zigno white, which is that really just beautiful, frosty white with all that metallic flake in it. Then with this burgundy, I want to call it burgundy. They want to call it red, tomato, tomato, whatever. I actually like burl. I'm old school. Give me the burl walnut. Eh, maybe that doesn't. That looks too funky. Wait, hold on a second. Maybe I don't want the burl. But maybe it's just not doing it any justice. It's probably not doing it any justice. I'm going to take the burl walnut. We're going with the burl walnut trim. And for options, what do we have all down here? There's that cabin atomizer for fragrances. I'm not worried about that. Do I need a refrigerator? No. Now, premium package gave us what? The premium package... Gave us uh, those seats, which I don't really care about. The heated front seat plus, which makes them go faster. I wonder if that's an a la carte item. But then this also gives us a surround view system. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I know that I want the warmth and comfort package. Right? Oh, it's going to make us add the premium package anyway. Whatever. Well, that was a waste of time right there. Let's just move on then. Wow. I was doing all that thinking for nothing. Let's move on to entertainment and convenience convenience uh i want the electronically heated windshield that's self-explanatory magic sky control what's that all about a mercedes-benz exclusive mercedes i'm sorry magic sky control is an innovative evolution of the panorama roof concept alters the transparency of the glass you know what i don't think i need to worry about all that that just sounds like one more pain i'm not worried about that Let's do the upgraded Burmester sound. It comes with a standard Burmester, but this one upgrades to almost 1,200 watts of sound and 26 speakers. Wherever they found that, it's got a 1,200 watt, watt amp. I'm sorry, 26 speakers. I don't know where they're all going to fit, but I'll let them figure it out. And I do want that heads-up display, as you know, for $990. That goes without saying. Uh, and then here they're just showing us some standard features and some key accessories like USB cables and junk like that. We don't need any of that. Let's go over to performance and safety. And the only thing over here is that driver assist. Well, not the only thing. Hold on a second. 
Uh, the night view assist, we got that. If you don't know what that is, let's take a look at this. I already know what it is because I've been looking at this stuff for years. Night view assist, well, it makes you get that whole infrared screen up in your car so it can detect vehicles and objects at night so you don't hit like deer and people or elk or whatever that is. Um, driver assist, this is all our um, safety features. We want that. The wheel locks, always cheap security for me. Always cheap security. And then there's other standard features. So service and care, let's move on. I normally don't get into that service and care. We just happen to look at that stuff. All right, so there's all the service and care. We already looked at it anyway. So let's jump over to the summary. Here we are. Our build price is now $155,985. Now, this vehicle started life at $125,000, so we really racked it up. We added about $8,600 in exterior features, uh, $8,700 in interior, $7,900 in entertainment and convenience, and $4,600 in uh, performance and safety upgrades. And so, yeah, here we are. We sit at $155,985. Okay, normally at this time, I usually tell people, hey, if you like the way that I built and priced this whatever, then you can download the build summary in the description below. Some of these websites are changing now. Mercedes is one of them. They want you to give you their name, email address, all this stuff just to be able to save and download it. So I'm not going to do that. So there won't be that build summary down in the description. But if you like this, well, you know how it's built. You can watch this video as many times as you want. All right. So here we are at the end. I think the S560 formatted coupe is pretty nice. I actually like the BMW M850i too. I don't know if it's design. I don't know if it's as pretty as this vehicle, but I think inside it's just as nice. You should go take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you've watched this whole video, you're awesome. Thank you for watching the whole video. I really appreciate that. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to wish you have a very wonderful day, and I'll see you.